Thanks for checking out our Dashcan video install guide for Chevy and GM trucks and SUVs years 95 and 96. To ensure you order the correct color, locate the sticker in the door jam on the driver's side and see where it says trim and compare it with our trim code guide on our website at dashkin.com. And as you can see, I was just going to go over some of like the super common areas these things crack. A lot of them crack up here by where the defrost vents are, up by the windshield, as well as over top of where the speedometer is. You have a big hole missing right here. So what our dash is going to do is it's going to cover and basically make your dash look brand new again. All right, as you can tell, there's a hole right here. It's because some of these pieces have broken off. So instead of trying to piece these back together, all we're going to do is just we're going to take them and remove them. That way you don't have any rattling going on or anything like that after it's installed. All right, on these ones, they have the cup holder right here in the dash. So all we're going to do is we're going to remove this piece right here. Then after we install the dash skin, this will install right over top of your skin. So let's take a flathead screwdriver and just pry this up. There's just some double-sided tape on there. We'll go all the way around, just like that. And then there's just some clips, so you kind of got to have a little pressure on it and just pop them out. Just like so. All right, another spot on this one before we do the install is we're just going to take the fuse panel off. This cover will actually install over the skin also after it's installed. All right, another spot and thing we're gonna do before we do the install is this bezel right here. We're gonna need to pop it off, not completely. We just kinda need to inch it off the dash because the lip of the dash skin will actually tuck behind it. So what we'll do is, this one we should be able to just kinda pull off like this, but if yours is on there pretty tight, you can just take a plastic putty knife and just go like this to get you some leverage spots to actually pull it off a little bit. And we'll just go all the way around and just gently pull it off, and like I said, don't fully remove it and also after you install the dash skin you'll want to push this back on there as the silicone cures all right next we're going to take the little bolts out that are inside your defrost portion just get you a uh, seven millimeter socket All right, we got these out. Another little thing to remember, as you can tell, a lot of spots on here, the original dash is actually missing right here. So when we install the skin, there'll be a little gap. So what we'll do is we'll take a little rubber O-ring and we'll actually put it on this bolt on the outside so that it gives it a little more space so we can actually get it tight after we install the dash skin. All right, now that we got everything disassembled that we needed disassembled, we're gonna go ahead and clean the dash really well with a industrial strength degreaser. Uh, we're using Zep. You can use Simple Green, Purple Power, any type of uh, good degreaser. Just don't use any harsh solvents like alcohol or anything like that. We're just going to get all the dirt and grime and any oily substances so if there's been armor all or anything like that put on it we just want to remove that so that we have a good clean surface that the silicone can adhere to another thing i wanted to mention was we do offer our uh, color match aerosol paints on our website at dashkin.com uh, that way if you have any door panels that are faded and you want them to look like new again uh, you can order this with your dash skin and paint them and make them look clean and as you can see, this whole piece is pretty loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some extra silicone and we're going to apply it kind of under. And then also we're going to put it all across these cracks so that when we put the skin over it, it'll adhere to itself as well as the skin. So it provides a good structure and you don't have any rattling or anything like that going on underneath. You can add an extra tube of silicone to your order at dashkin.com when you order your dash cover. All right, now let's go ahead and grab our dash cover and let's do a dry fit. All right. 
And you always want to be sure to do a dry fit before you actually do the install. Just to go over everything, make sure everything lines up correctly. And kind of plan where your weights will go and stuff like that. Another little tip and trick on this particular model is this lip right here is actually going to tuck in right here. So you just kind of got to be a little forceful and just push it in like that and it'll tuck in all the way down. Sweet. All right, now that we're done with our dry fit, we're just going to go ahead and remove it, grab a tube of silicone, and we're going to go ahead and start prepping the dash for install. Yeah, on the lip. There we go. We're just going to take some silicone and put it underneath. That way it kind of remounts to the underneath, underneath side and stays stable. Start here. All right, I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to run a bead all the way across. So we're just going to go over any cracks that are on the dash. This will just help hold it all together uh, with the underside of the dash again and the dash. Kind of hold everything in place after it's installed. Let's go ahead and outline that. Like so. Definitely if your dash is really cracked like this one, Definitely add a second tube of silicone to your order. It'll make life a lot easier. Now let's go ahead and apply the silicone in the same manner that's illustrated inside your install guide. And we'll go ahead and get started on that. All right, now it's time to go ahead and install it. I'll go ahead and push that in that seam like so. And we'll push this into place on this side. This one is right here. All right, and like I mentioned earlier, now we want to go now that we got the it installed in place we're going to go ahead and push this bezel back in like it was all right now we'll reinstall the bolts all right and a little trick what i was talking about earlier is we'll take some little rubber o-rings and we'll just put them over these bolts that way we can get them on tight without hurting anything especially on the dashes when they're missing that piece of plastic so you don't have as much clearance there so this will kind of add a little bit so that you can actually tighten it down all the way 
Let's do about two little O-rings on each bolt, and then we'll go ahead and install them. and install this last one here. And then we'll just get it snug. We just don't want to over tighten it. Like so. All right, and we'll go ahead and reinstall this fuse cover. Just like so. All right, we'll go ahead and just reinstall this now. Blends in like We'll just take some cut up pieces of cardboard and just wedge them between the dash and the windshield, just like so. All right, now for weights. We like to use sandbags or reams of printer paper. You can also use books like phone books or anything that's a pretty good amount of weight uh, just be sure not to scratch up your your new dash skin so don't use anything too harsh Let's do a couple more right here. All right, and on this front surface right here, telescoping prop rod that we can adjust against the seat. Uh, alternatively, you could use a piece of PVC with just a rag on each side and just cut it to length and then you can use the seat and just adjust it to just to apply pressure on there. I'll go ahead and grab that prop rod and show you what we're talking about here. So we'll just place it here and then just run it right here just to apply some pressure right on that front spot right there. All right, now for the side surface. We're just going to take some microfiber cloths and we're just going to fold them up and close them inside the door right there. That way you got pressure on the sides while the silicone cures. And that's it. Now we're just going to want to give it about 12 hours at a minimum to cure. We like to leave them overnight for the best results and then we'll remove the weights and your dash will be brand new. After the six to eight hours of curing, you can remove the weights and enjoy actually having a dashboard again. Thanks for checking out our install video. For more content like this, be sure to subscribe and follow our page. With so many options when shopping online, thank you for choosing Dashkin, where all our products are and always will be made right here in the USA.